Welcome to this week's Friday fun episode. I had a ball making this card this week with um, a private class that I had up in New Hampshire. And it's so simple, I thought that I would show it to you because I love it and it features a punch that has um, been the most popular punch in five years with Stampin' Up. It's been on back order more than it's been in, um, and it's finally back, and I just love daisies. Daisies are my absolute favorite flower. Um, so when we were in class this week, I prepped this out for everybody. We made four projects. This was just one of them. And um, this also features uh, stitched square framelits. Um, these may go on back order. They're in low quantity right now. Um, but I love how clean and simple and pretty this card is, and there's not too many supplies. I used a three quarter inch punch for this, and I punched the daisy out twice so that I can layer that. And um, let me just show you how I made the card quick. It is so fun, and you could do it with any flower, really. I like to use these piercing mats as a stamping surface because my table's a little scratchy. So I'm using Melon Mambo ink, and you may notice I don't put the stickers on the back of my um, stamps. I like them because it keeps my stamps really sticky. I do, however, put the stamp on the block so that it's absolutely straight. Um, and then when I ink up, I line the block up with the paper. So you might actually see my noggin for a minute. I'm just inking up, tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna come down and see if you saw my noggin, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stamp here so the block is perfectly lined up but I'm actually a little bit below where the block ends. Isn't that pretty? I do love this stamp set. It is the Just Add Text stamp set, item 143. 934 and all the sayings in here are amazing but this is one of my favorite sayings as well so I'm just gonna add a little fast fuse adhesive and there's a few things in here that I want to talk about uh, first is using three sides equal means that my card will always look correct um, to the eye. If, if the sides aren't equal, it won't look quite right. And I do the same thing when I'm attaching. If you've ever had problems putting a card because you're trying to do this, it's much easier to come into the side and see that three sides are equal, like that. So that's design concepts number one for this. And I'm gonna attach this onto my card front. And again, I'm gonna look at the three sides, line, line up three sides so they're equal. Because if one side was longer, it would still look right. Like, like my square being here and nothing underneath it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my daisy and just fold the tips up at the base right here. And I'll do that for both pieces. And I want to attach them together so that they are off center and fill in any gaps like that. And then we'll attach this. Okay, so here's design concept number two. If you've ever taken a picture on your phone, sometimes if you go into edit on your phone to edit out the picture, you'll notice that they create a grid that's two lines going this way, cutting your card into three pieces, and then two lines going this way, cutting your card into three pieces, or, or whatever it is you're taking a picture of. Two thirds is here, like where the, the juncture point is of the two thirds is where it makes sense to put your focal point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my card into two thirds, and I'm gonna go again two thirds, and I'm gonna try and put my daisy right about there. So. That is another design concept, the rule of two thirds, putting your focal point at the cross of one of the two thirds spots. So I'm just gonna add a dimensional to the back of this and pop that on, isn't that cute? 
I love it. So I wanted a little bit of sparkle and I only had one package of these going into my workshop, but it, there was still plenty for everybody. Pink ended up being the popular color here um, for the glitter enamel dots. I did do one with the green and some with light pink and some with dark pink, but you can choose whatever color you like. I think I'm gonna go for this because I liked it the most in the event that we did. It almost looks like a, a pink ladybug, but just adding that makes such a difference. And I love that no one in the class had the same color. So um, these really make me happy. You're gonna probably see more of these coming up. Thanks so much for stopping by on today's Friday fun. I will see you next week with another cool project. Thanks.